it's Irene here and today I'm gonna do a different kind of video. I decided to do a very kind of simple and just chill videos where I just wear my beautiful onesie. I just recently got this onesie in Tofino, BC, where we traveled like a week ago to photograph a wedding and it totally made me think of making those kind of talking videos, just wearing one, you know, just a very, very chill, kind of casual setting. I have my tea with me here and we'll discuss all sorts of photography related things, I'm gonna rant about some things, I'm gonna rave about some things. And to start things off, I'm gonna do a Q&A video. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram and I'm gonna answer them today. So this one asks uh, some tips and tricks for beginners. And I would say that... I remember when I started doing photography, I, was, uh, I did not know what different modes in my cameras are. Um, so I always just shot an auto. There's not that many things that you can do um, in enhancing your picture uh, when you're shooting in auto rather than in manual. In manual, you can really um, you can really play around with your aperture, with your shutter speed, with your ISO, all sorts of all of these things. In auto mode, not really. So, if you are still shooting in auto mode, definitely stop doing it and learn what a manual and learn what a manual mode on your camera is. You can easily just like Google it, search it on YouTube, there's tons of information online and it is very, very easy. Okay, let's go to the next one. Which photo of yours are you most proud of? Hmm. This is a very, very hard question. I think right now at this moment, I really really love my water series and I love all of the pictures that I've done there but one of the pictures that always stood out to me was this one right here I'm just gonna insert it in the space and I took this picture probably in my like second year of shooting this is a picture that really took me out of being like a beginner photographer to being more professional this was like one of the first first pictures that I actually looked at and I thought that I really really love it. So this one is asking which lens do you recommend for someone that is starting out? And I would definitely recommend a 50 millimeter lens. It's the length of the lens is great. It doesn't distort the picture like the 35 does and it's not as close up as like the 85 millimeter. So yeah, definitely a 50 millimeter is just a great for someone that's just starting out. And I think Canon and Nikon both have like a 50mm 1.8, it's extremely cheap, it's like around $100 and I think it's a great budget for someone that just, again, is starting out in photography. So this one is, how did you learn to edit so well? To be honest, it I learned everything online, I'm a huge YouTube freak and fan, I watch YouTube religiously like every single day. And I learned everything that I know in editing from YouTube. There's so, so many different Photoshop tutorials. And um, I guess once I knew the basics of Photoshop, I just kind of experimented with it a lot and then came up with some of the, my own ways to Photoshop things. Uh, this one is, what's your favorite kind of cereal? So I'm gonna tell you guys a secret and hopefully not many will unsubscribe from my channel from now on, but I do not like breakfast, any sort of breakfast food. I know that here in like America, Canada, people are obsessed with breakfast and everyone loves to go to those like breakfast places to get their like scrambled eggs and hash browns and sausage and all, all of these things with like orange juice. I do not like breakfast like that. I can literally eat pizza for breakfast and then I would be happy. So I don't like cereal. Uh, so this one is when did you get your first DSLR SLR? So the first camera that I got was when I was 18 um, I just came to Canada at the time and I had my first job I made my first paycheck and I decided to buy a camera 
because I was obsessed with taking pictures with my sister and that was a Canon Rebel XSI, I think, so yeah. So this one's asking, when did you become interested in photography? And from what I remember, I really, really liked taking pictures when I was around probably like from 7 to 10 years old. Me and my sister would actually like make the whole photo shoot. Like I would put her into some kind of like costume clothing and it's not actual costume clothing. It was just like random pieces that I found around the house. <laughs> you would put a backdrop and make up the whole thing and then I would take pictures. And at that time it was like something super super fun to do we did it all the time with my sister and I actually have like few pictures that I found like old old pictures from back home in Ukraine that I took with my sister they're extremely embarrassing but I'm gonna show it to you guys because I have no shame <laughs> so here is one and I guess she's some kind of princess sitting on a couch there's a beautiful bowl in the corner of the picture very creative, very beautiful. Mm, this one is one of my favorites. I mean, you can see my feet, which I think was not how I thought this is gonna turn out. And she's making a heart with her hair. So, yeah, very creative. Is photography your full-time career? If so, what was the journey like to get there? So, it is my full-time job right now. And I don't think I'm gonna be really talking about this right now. I might make a whole separate video when I talk about how I became a photographer. If you guys would like to see that, please let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll make one. Um, so this one is asking, in your personal experience, what one thing, gear, workshop, fad, um, so on, had been the biggest ways as well as that one thing that has been the most essential. So the biggest waste probably was a zoom lens that I got when I first started uh, getting into wedding photography. All of the forums that I went on told me that I need to get a zoom lens. So I did. Never end up using it ever and the zoom lenses are pretty expensive. I guess I just prefer fixed lenses. I don't mind getting in there if you need to get a little bit closer or taking a step back and letting the couple just be kind of almost alone and with me kind of far away whenever I'm using like an 85 millimeter lens I just I don't know I didn't like the zoom lens at all and I thought that was definitely a waste of my money I had to resell it and then I just lost some money on on it and as I said I never really used it like ever what's the most essential thing so just recently I discovered this thing I don't know what it's called to be honest I like I totally forgot I'm gonna Google it and put it somewhere over here so you guys know what it is. And I'm also gonna put a link down below so you can purchase it. It's a little uh, magnifier kind of looking thing. You put it to the screen of your camera and then you look into it and you can see your picture on the screen of the camera magnified. And also it shields all of the light coming in. So you know if you're shooting in a very, very bright daylight, you look at the screen of your camera, you can't see anything. It's it's pretty much black and you have to like shield it like this with your hands to see the actual picture so that little device does it for you it's really really cheap I think I bought mine on eBay for like $30 or on Amazon I don't remember exactly but it's so so useful like before I used it I had this problem where on the screen it looked a lot darker and then when I put it on my computer it would be a lot a lot brighter the picture and now with this little device whenever I'm shooting I can easily look what I'm doing and it will show me exactly the colors and the brightness of the picture that it is on camera it's amazing that thing it just saves my life every single time so I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A and if you want me to do another one, ask me any questions down below so I will be able to answer them in my next one. And also let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to talk about. I will gladly do another onesie talk video for you guys. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video. It really lets me know if you enjoyed watching it and if you want me to make more. And I'm also really really close to 6,000 subscribers that's amazing because just a month ago i was talking about hitting 5,000 subscribers it's just crazy how fast this channel grows and it's all thanks to you guys so yeah again i hope you guys enjoy watching this and i'll see you in my next video bye